Cal Cup Day Saturday at Santa Anita includes a pair of route stakes for three-year-olds, including race number seven. It's the $200,000 California Cup Derby, a field of nine racing a mile and one-sixteenth on the main track and a relatively evenly matched field of nine, but none are any more accomplished than Northern California shipper Better Trip Nick. Better Trip Nick last time out won for the fourth time in five starts, and he did it in front-running fashion. That was in the Gold Rush Stakes on December 7th at Golden Gate Fields. He made the lead, he cruised along, and he wired the field, his third consecutive win, his fourth from five starts. You know, the more I watch this tape, the less impressed actually I am. He was loose on the lead. He was seemed to be fully extended. Maybe that's a little too harsh, but he won by a length and a half under highly advantageous conditions that are unlikely to be duplicated on Saturday at Santa Anita. A couple reasons. First of all, he's going from synthetic to dirt. That's not a big deal. He might prefer dirt, but what's more problematic for better trip Nick is the pace scenario. And the, there are at least three other speed horses in this race that are going to potentially compromise front runner better trip Nick on the front end. And I'm referring to number six, rookie mistake, number eight, fast enough, and number nine, big returns. All three of those horses are front runners, and they're going to make a very active front end scenario in this mile and the 116th race. If you had to go with the stretch out horse, well, you had to be impressed with the most recent win by Rookie Mistake. It was a maiden race, it was, a ma and it was on a sprint on dirt. But this was a decisive victory by an improving son of Square Eddie. Now, he's already run well on the main track, and he put it all together fourth time out. It was only a maiden race. I understand that. But look how impressive this guy was through the length of the lane, winning by more than three lengths, with plenty left in the tank, and he's wheeling right back on short notice. And I would expect jockey Mario Gutierrez to allow this guy to use his speed. Square Eddies can get a mile and a 16th. Of course they can. And rookie mistake, win or lose, he will keep number one better trip Nick honest on the front end. But who's the most likely winner of this race? Well, it has to be a colt by the hottest new sire in California. That stallion's name is Clubhouse Ride, and the horse's name is Club Aspen. Club Aspen, it kind of took him a little while to get his act together, very much like his sire, Clubhouse Ride. But he put it all together last time out, Club Aspen did. In the King Gloria Stakes at Los Alamitos on December 15th, and he pressed the pace outside tap back he's a little bit late switching leads he's on his wrong lead switch leads club aspen and finish the job he finally will in mid stretch and club aspen will draw away to win by more than two lengths in relatively decisive fashion it was 13 lengths back maybe not quite that far between second and third but a very sharp win by club aspen of course, it wasn't 13 lengths, but it was a good solid margin between the second and third place finish. And Club Aspen, what he did in the King Glorious is important. He pressed a fast pace and he still had enough energy left to draw away from the field. So Club Aspen, he has a very bizarre workout pattern. You'll notice that he worked on Friday, January 10th and also on Monday, January 13th. That's not a misprint. The Friday workout was a botched workout, so trainer Craig Lewis wheeled him right back on Monday morning, worked him again, and this time the workout went well. So I expect Club Aspen, who has already shown his versatility, he has speed, he can finish, he's the most probable winner, but there is a long shot in this race that I am fascinated on which to make a wager if his odds slip through the cracks and they should because he was well beaten last time out at 11 to 1 the horse i'm referring to is number two dapper now the king gloria stakes that club aspen won was dominated by the one two pace setters number two dapper is a come from behind her he really had no chance chasing that speed conducive race in which the speed just ran away from everyone. There's a lot of heat in the Cal Cup Derby on Saturday. Dapper will be a big price. 
His trainer, Gary Studi, has always believed that this guy wants to run long. And if the pace completely falls apart, and it could, look for number two, Dapper, to possibly spring it up. But he can only do it if he can run my top choice. That's number five, Club Aspen in the Cal Cup Derby on Saturday at Santa Anita.